So I want to continue my series on domains in evolution in Burgundy by talking about domain Anu Lachaud in Bone Romanet. Now this is an estate that's existed for a long time, since the mid 19th century in fact. They've been domain bottling the production since the late 1950s. They have incredible holdings in Von Romanet and elsewhere. Um, but it was really when the young Charles Lachaud came back to the family domain in late 2011 that something very exciting started to happen. And I, I find it particularly exciting because Charles Lachaud uh, and I exactly the same age, both 1989 vintage. It's very interesting to see a new generation getting involved in Burgundy and doing things on the highest level. Uh, so what Charles started doing was really initiating a, a revolution in the domain's vineyards. Uh, and one of the key platforms of that, along with um, farming organically, using mazal selections, severe debudding, limiting yields, was to uh, start, instead of trimming the, hedging the vines throughout the growing season repeatedly, as is the norm in Burgundy, to start uh, raising the height of the trellising wires and rolling the canopies. So uh, every time you cut a vine, you send a hormonal stress response to the through the plant that encourages vegetative growth. And by avoiding doing that, by letting the shoots grow uh, and just rolling them back in on themselves, you encourage the plant to start uh, phenolic maturation of the grape sooner, encourage it to produce fruit. You get less second crop. Uh, and you also tend to get um, smaller berries, with thicker skins and higher Ju uh, solids to juice ratio. So all very interesting things. And, and the idea behind all of these um, methods is to create fruit with higher natural acidities, lower yields, and higher concentration. Uh, and this really came to the fore in the 2018 vintage. You know, Charles was able to pick very early, moderate alcohol, fully ripe. And then um, as a concomitant of these changes in the vineyard, he's really pulled back in the cellar. So um, shorter macerations, uh, 100% whole cluster now, and already by 2012, his first vintage he vinified, he was starting to do appreciable percentages of whole cluster. And then um, elevage in much reduced amount of new oak. And I, I've got here the 2005, 2012, and 2018 Les Souchots. Uh, this is in some ways, I think, the emblematic wine of the domain. They have very old vines here that always produce sort of small shot berries, Mirandage. And uh, they used to call it the um, Grand Souchot. In fact, um, that was on some of the earliest labels of the domain. Now they've gone back with 2018 to doing it. It's certainly absolutely merited for the 2018. But you can really see between the 5, the 12, and the 18, the progression. Uh, the 5 doesn't have that sort of asperity of tannin that some of the more structured, extracted 5 still do to this day. But there definitely is plenty of extract. And it has been um, entirely destemmed. Uh, and probably most noticeably, I think there's just a sort of patina, or rather chocolatey patina of new oak and oak lac terms that really uh, frame the wine, but in quite an obtrusive way. You know, already with the 12, you see a slightly more filigree tannic structure. I would guess that, I haven't discussed this with Charles, but about half a uh, whole cluster for this, I, I'm assuming. Uh, aromatic profile has evolved in a, in a slightly less oaky direction, I'd say, but equally it still has quite a lot of those sort of chocolatey top notes. You know, you do, the wood is present, and uh, imagine the cooperage choices that Charles made in 12 were perhaps not radically different from those his, his father were doing, at least in the style of oak, let's to not talk about the percentage. 2018, I think, is the year when you really see all of the viticultural changes and winemaking changes co coalescing to create uh, something very, very special indeed, something that, that uh, is able to achieve the sort of aromatic range of the very, very best wines of Von Romanet, the sort of thing you associate with, with Domaine de Romanet Conti, Loire, some bottles from Bizo, the sort of uh, floral top notes, the orange rind, the, the, the exotic spices, but not coming from barrels because the, the level of New York radically reduced by 2018. And I think macerations barely, certainly not even two weeks. Uh, yet the wine has incredible concentration, uh, has a structure to last 60 or 70 years without any sense of weight and certainly above all in 2018 not that sort of ponderous sucrosity of fruit which I think for me is, is the fault with 18 as a red burgundy vintage. It's a sort of just 
um, unavoidable mid-palate sweetness that is rather cloying to drink. This wine has none of that, and it's representative of, a, of the portfolio. I mean, it was incredible portfolio. I tasted them just after they'd been ranked to tank from bottling, which is never a very flattering time to, to uh, try a new vintage, and I was just blown away by them. And um, this confirms all of the promise I saw uh, back in November of last year. Uh, people who are not acquainted with the wines, I think word is already suddenly out there. Um, the prices of the wines are starting to get already pretty elevated. Um, However, uh, it's absolutely worth trying some of these bottles. I think they're really some of the most exciting wines being made in the Côte de Nuit today.